HTML5 Lists and Tables We have already learned about creating numbered lists and tables in Word 2016. Similarly, we will learn about creating lists and tables in HTML by using certain tags. Creating Lists A list is a group of related items. There are three ways of specifying items in a list. Ordered lists In an ordered list, every item is marked with numbers that are in sequence. We use the OL tag to create an ordered list in HTML. We define an item in a list by using the Li tag. It can be used as an empty tag as well as a container tag. The OL tag has two attributes name type and start which can be used in the following way. OL type is equal to A, starts the list from A. OL type is equal to A, start is equal to 2, starts the list from B. OL type is equal to 1, start is equal to 10, starts the list from 10. OL type is equal to I, start is equal to 2, starts the list from 2. OL type is equal to I start is equal to 4, starts the list from 4. Look at the table given below for various type attributes. Type, numbers, alphabets and examples. Type, A, alphabets, uppercase letters. Examples, A, B, C, D, E. Type, A, alphabets, lowercase letters. Examples A, B, C, D, E Type 1 Numbers, uppercase Roman numbers Examples 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Type 1 Numbers, lowercase Roman numbers Examples 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Type 1 Numbers Default. Examples 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Observe the following HTML code and its output. Unordered lists. In an unordered list, the items are represented through small icons which do not require any particular sequence. We use the old tag to create an unordered list in HTML. We only use the type attribute for old tag which defines the type of bullet for the list. There are three types of bullets in HTML. Disk, default, circle, square. Observe the following HTML code and its output. Definition list. The definition list is also referred to as the description list. We create a definition list using the DL tag. DT and DL tags are also used in which DT is a definition term and DD is a definition description. Observe the following HTML code and its output. Creating tables A table represents the data in the form of rows and columns. In HTML5, we create a table by using the table tag. Table tag is defined inside the body tag. It is a container tag. We can create using the following child tags of the table tag. TR tag is used for defining table rows. TD tag is used for defining table data, i.e. the data of cells. Caption tag is used for defining the title of the table. Eth is used for defining table headings. Observe the following table and the different tags used for various components of the table. English Class 2 Marks 75 Science Class 5 Marks 80 Maths 
क्लास थ्री मार्क्स फिफ्टी फाइव सोशल स्टडीज क्लास फोर मार्क्स सेवेंटी कैप्शन टैग फॉर टेबल सब्जेक्ट्स एंड मार्क्स एथ टैग फॉर सब्जेक्ट क्लास मार्क्स टी आर फॉर एडिंग डेटा फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर रो टी डी टैग फॉर टेबल एंट्री सच एज इंग्लिश टू सेवेंटी फाइव सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टीज विद टेबल टैग वेरियस सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टीज कैन बी यूज विद द टेबल टैग टू अप्लाई बॉर्डर बॉर्डर स्टाइल बॉर्डर स्पेसिंग विथ पैडिंग बैकग्राउंड कलर एंड कलर दीज ग्लोबल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सी एस एस कैन बी यूज विद एनी एलिमेंट ऑफ एच टी एम एल वी विल यूज दीज प्रॉपर्टीज विद टेबल टैग टू क्रिएट अ टेबल इन एच टी एम एल बॉर्डर प्रॉपर्टी एनेबल्स अस टू एड अ बॉर्डर टू द टेबल Border style property enables us to apply outline style of the border of the table such as dotted, dashed, solid, double, groove, ridge, inset, outset, none and hidden. Border color property enables us to apply a color to the border. Observe the following code and its output to understand the creation of a table using the above properties. Border spacing property specifies the space between borders of adjacent cells. Width property defines the width of a box or a table. We can use 100% width to cover the complete width of the web page. Padding property specifies the space around the data in a cell of the table. Background color property specifies the background color in a table. Color property specifies text color in the table. Observe the additional code in the previous table to understand the usage of these properties. TD tag. The TD tag stands for table data. Data can be filled in the table cells using this tag. TD tag has the following attributes. Row span. The row span attribute applies when a single cell is extended for more than a single row. The cells indoor and outdoor are examples of row span in the given table. Games and examples. Indoor. Chess and table tennis. Outdoor. Volleyball and basketball. call span the call span attribute applies when a single cell is extended to more than a single column the column name is an example of call span in the given table serial number name and grade serial number 1 name divya sharma grade 5 serial number 2 name rohit goyal grade 6 serial number 3 name mahesh gautam grade 6 tr tag the tr tag stands for table row which starts a new row and ends with tr tag it is a container tag